poppin' everybody. It's your boy Jamal underscore hockey. Really, nigga? And we're back with another movie review this time. And we have a different setting, the feng shui. This setting, my setting, my home, my baby. And we here with your boy. Kill Joy. Kill Joy. You gonna allow me to introduce myself Yes, first? I am. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the movie, as you see in the title below. We're talking about the movie, A Quiet Place. Quiet Place is essentially... How, what's the best way I can explain a quiet place if I was to summarize it? I mean, you can kind of say it's post-apocalyptic. I classify it as a post-apocalyptic movie because okay, post most, most, mostly everybody's dead except for the last little pockets of uh, humanity that have figured out, you know, that it is, you know, the sound that gets them killed. So I personally classified it as post-apocalyptic. That's just me. Okay, the post but, it, but it does center around, you know, one particular family. Um in this this time frame this era uh and you know the lengths that they go to to survive and the lengths that they go to to be quiet um something that i think we take granted for on a day-to-day -day basis i mean would you agree yeah i agree so yeah pretty much you have yeah like you said you have the family kind of said in a post-apocalyptic time where there's a threat that's uh that's imminent or that's you know surround but not necessarily surrounding them but it's around them enough to the point where if noise is made that it will become a potential um danger not only for the person that's making the noise but for the people that's in the surrounding area and so basically throughout the movie it is a it is a quiet movie. It's a movie that you have to pay attention to. It's a movie that you have to literally, <laughs> quote unquote, listen to. And and you almost have to be as quiet as them because the movie actually puts you on edge for that. But Because as we saw in that first scene, we uh, yeah. saw firsthand what happens when you know people uh, decide to play with toy spaceships. Exactly, they, exactly. They get so, molly whopped real quick. So, Hello. Hey! So yeah, and... Um, so the movie is pretty, um, um, you can say straightforward in terms of just that the, the synopsis of it, in terms of like what it what it gives you the the the, the front layer of it. But now let's kind of roll into the, some of the things that we actually liked about the movie and some things that actually work for us. Going into this movie, um, there was a lot of hype. Uh, you know, everybody was talking about this movie how um, yeah. it was. I don't want to say a godsend, but you know, there was a lot of hype around this movie, so naturally, me being me, I was very, very curious. Uh, going into this movie, um, my hype level was not, you know, up here with everybody else's, but it was at a healthy little uh, level. But I overall thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Everything worked for me. Um, the atmosphere, uh, the acting. Um, I really love how they got an actual deaf uh, actress, you know, to play, you know, their that deaf daughter. That was interesting. Uh, that, that was uh, definitely um, very, uh, very grounding. The fact that they learned sign language, the fact that, you know, they had this whole system of, you know, ways that, you know, they had to stay quiet because if you made even the slightest sound, you know, like they were coming for you and there was no outrunning them. There was no escaping them. Uh, once they had you locked in, like, your ass was grass basically like <laughs> you was oh. done you there was nothing that uh you can necessarily do to get away from that the only saving grace is if um, a louder noise drowned out you know the noise that you were making but even then there was no guarantees um i know with me uh what really stood out to me mostly is because like when i go into something uh, i'm really big on tone um tonality so they really set the tone they did a good, no, they did an excellent job setting the tone from the beginning of the movie. They let you know exactly like what the, how, what majority of the movie is going to be like. The, the, the quality of sound, how quiet you would have to be. Like they let you know instantly if we make a noise, you didn't even know what the threat was. You didn't even know what the threat was at first. You just knew that the title was called A Quiet Place. They was being very quiet. There was no sound being made in the beginning of the movie. But also, I love the logic. Things were logically making sense. Them using them walking on sand, using sand for them to walk on to to uh, eliminate any any potential noises that they made. Them, um, you know, when they was going to the to the the river, 
or you know, Lake River, let's waterfall. Lake, waterfall, right? And now being able to talk within that setting because of the noise, the ongoing noise that happens, they don't they don't pick up on that. Or it's it's such it's a constant basically. They know that noise is always gonna be there. So they don't pick up on that noise and the only thing they have to do is talk that like stuff like that. Like who who was on the writing team when they incorporated Every it? everything in this movie, like uh, there were very subtle things like I said that we take for granted that exactly. you know, they took into account for for this movie, like everyday activities or things that we do. I'm glad that like, you brought up tone too because uh, if there was one thing about this movie, uh, it was intense the entire way out. Um, I think I told you when I went to go see it, mm -hmm. uh, I was pretty agitated at first because like everybody <laughs> in the theater was like snacking on popcorn and, and candy and drinks and Don't stuff. Don't eat snacks for this movie. Or stop it! And so I'm, I'm sitting here like I'm trying to get into the movie and everybody's over here making all this type of noise. You know, I'm checking my doors like, yo, if y'all don't shut up, like, yeah. they finna come out the screen and they'll snatch me. Think I'm playing? But uh, now we can roll into some things that we didn't like, which is not going to be a lot. Uh, honestly, you really have to nitpick in order to really find something you essentially didn't like. I mean, the only thing that... I really didn't like was mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 the 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 son like I, I, the the I, one the one not, that not, not not the one that got killed I mean the, the pale, middle son yeah yeah the middle son yeah mm -hmm. um, yeah I didn't I didn't really like him I guess that um, mm -hmm. his character art was to be that you know he was afraid because he was traumatized from the experience but at the same time um, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. I mean, there's not really time for you to be. I mean, eventually afraid. he did. Eventually he did. Too late though. Yeah. Um, eventually he came around. That's soft. The the daughter character, I didn't really have a problem with. I understood her character arc. I understood uh, her character growth. Uh, I understood her frustration. I know a lot of uh, people that I've talked to or, or reviewers that I've watched. You know, they stated her as they didn't really like her character because she was. Um, you know, annoying and rebellious, and you know she was the cause of. But what you know, though? What though? Certain but, events. But with stuff like that, that, that was really hard to really kind of point out, like some things that we didn't like, because I look at that as something that's potentially written into the story for us to feel that way about the character. Somebody has to be, i.e., the villain. I mean, there was already like three or four villains. I mean, I mean, yeah, I agree. I mean, besides that, but you I know, mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, like it's it's all nitpicks. I mean, I mean, if you really want to, well, somebody can say, oh, I, I didn't like the, I didn't like the the baby they had. The thing about this movie that I'm 50, can kind of bring it, it can kind of bring it down a little bit is like um, some of the logical choices that were made with this family. So obviously, like spoiler alert, nigga. Uh, <laughs> the youngest son died at the beginning of the movie. Dead. Uh, <laughs> Dead. So, D E D. If you Dead. See, if you see the trailer, you already know. Like he took the spaceship, he turned it on. You know, going into the movie, I'm thinking, okay, like he gonna get away. Like, nah, nigga. Like they established off the bat. He like, got away in his mouth. Uh, fast forward, what, like eighty something days? Like eighty or? No, nah, no, nah, nah. it was two. It was two hundred. It, it, it fast forward. Cause it was. It fast forwarded two hundred. In sixty something or seventy something days, yeah, they, so because they was they, yeah, yeah. So the time jump, why why would you why would you have a baby, you know, in this situation? You you brought up a good point that yes, you know, they're possibly feeling, uh, you know, upset, you know, or not possibly they are feeling yeah, upset yeah. at the loss of it's you know the youngest. It's son. like a so guilt, like uh, and, and like I don't know if you ever like talk to someone who I talked to multiple people who may have went through the idea of maybe loss. You know, uh, you know, uh, 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 losing their child, or uh, the idea of just losing something that you had, or you feel like that's your, yours, it's your, it's your baby, and like that was still technically in their eyes, even though that person was walking, talking, and all this stuff, that still was a baby to them, and for them to have lost something that they hold near and dear to their heart. They wanted to not essentially be able to. You could look at it as replace. Some people use that word. word. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want to be able to, to um, feel that, feel that Boy, emptiness. Yeah. yeah, you want to feel that emptiness. So they, I can understand why they had it, but obviously I, mean, I can too. But it was but still it, stupid. It was still stupid. No, I agree. That's because what I'm saying. I, because what baby is well, 
This baby was actually pretty quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and wrap everything up pretty much. So once again, like the story, the writing and everything, the movie was the perfect length. Yes, it was. Like it wasn't too long. It wasn't nope. too short. Mm -hmm. It did everything it needed to do. The, again, the tonality, I'm really big on that. Things just made sense. Um, the acting, I enjoy. The pace of the movie, I enjoy. Some of the decision making and things happening, the outcome, I highly enjoy. Um, again, it's not really, to, you have to really nitpick on some things you didn't like. But all in all, for me, if I was giving it a, um, a rating on out of a 10, I'll give it, honestly, a, a 9 out of 10. Honestly, I don't want to leave it, I want to give it too high because they're going to be better movies than this. I'm not going to be as generous as you. Um, and that's not to say that this is a bad movie because it's not by any means. As far as a, 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 a horror thriller goes, uh, this is actually really well made compared mm -hmm. to, you know, a lot of trash that we get you know throughout the years but yeah like you said uh, the acting was on point uh the i forgot the guy's last name uh john krasinski or something like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. you know he was an actor director writer producer he did, his, he did uh, his he thing did, he did his thing he did um, his thing very 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 impressed uh with his work overall like this is a really really good movie um like you said i, I can't really fault it for anything you know i can nitpick it all day and i can bring it down you know from there but uh i can't i can't give it a 9.5 i just can't no, I, because, yeah, like, i'll agree because it's just not it's just not a 9.5 worthy movie to me if anything it's a 7.5 like it's a bro what are you talking about man it's a maybe an eight but uh it's definitely I, it's I definitely an that. above average movie um but then, but then again, you know, people are gonna ask you. It's like, based off, they, they're gonna basically ask you like, for someone who didn't have like a lot of nitpick, a lot of things negative to say, some people are probably gonna wonder like, how would you be able to give it? Because like, because like, because like, for me to give like movies movie ratings eight and above, you know, it has to really really resonate with me. Like, okay, I said you said, I said you said, I said you said. As good of, of a movie as it was, it, it did not resonate with me. Not, again, not saying it's a bad movie by any means. No, I agree, I agree with you one, saying. One, 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 one of the best this year, uh, Dep, especially yeah, for a genre. But yeah, uh, I'm going to finalize it at a 7.5. So that's it, guys. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Hit the bell to be notified. Sub up for the hockey game. This is your boy, Jamal underscore hockey. And um, we'll see y'all on the next movie review. So peace out.